The next comic we got coming to the stage is a U.S. Army veteran of four years, and she grew up in Nova. Uh, we have Monica Wellham. Round of applause. I was an army veteran a thousand years ago, and I kept a few things with me. I've got friends I know I will have forever. I continue to hate to run. <laughs> and I know that some of my best and worst memories begin with the phrase, oh, let's get tequila. <laughs> yeah, that running man. <laughs> yeah, 2017 is a good year. It's the first year I'm doing stand-up. It's the year of the cock. <laughs> Not a first for me. <laughs> but it is not going to be the year that I start training for a marathon. No. I've got friends who run marathons. I think they're really badass. I think anybody who hears, the first guy who did this died. And goes, oh, we should do more of that. But for charity. But for charity. I think that's pretty awesome. And the story goes, the first marathon, the guy runs from Marathon to Athens, tells his king, join, we have won, and kicks it. Right, but it's kind of a bullshit story. Because what happened was, first, he was one of 10,000 Athenian soldiers fighting, which is conservatively estimated to be 100,000 members of a Persian army. Wins the battle, fights all day, then runs 24 miles and yells, Joy, we have one! It kicks <laughs> So slick. That's a biathlon I can get behind. Good morning, nothing in your Persian. Awesome. If you could put your bib in the pocket protector of your shield, shield walls will form at six. I'm glad you all laughed. There's somebody in the corner going, I don't think I've been in shield walls and that. And then there's another table going, I know she doesn't run, because the back of my minivan says 26.2. <laughs> so the army taught me to know my enemy. I don't like to run, but keep with me. In the 1908 London the Games, the royal family said, could you start at our house and end at our seats? That would be awesome. <laughs> didn't quite happen that way, but it did make the marathon 26.2 miles. It also made the royal family the laziest spectators at any marathon. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to run that kind of distance, I'm going to make you a poster. I bet they didn't even do that. <laughs> Mine's going to say, run, sexy beast, run. You can do it. I'm going to wear the shirt that said, I drove here. <laughs> I like yoga. I like knitting. Yeah. Knitting's now an exercise. <laughs> you laugh, but they say that the meditative state you get with knitting gives you the same motion you get with yoga. Einstein said it helped him clear his mind. I just know never once in a knitting circle I thought, we're going to have to field test that burrito. <laughs> my mom's favorite joke. She's here for some of my gals. So we knit a Panera. Yeah, they're super sweet. I love them. And you would think, two sticks and string, people would be like, it's knitting. Mm -mm, we always gather a crowd. What are you doing? Are you knitting? Is it knitting? Are you knitting? Is it knitting? Are you knitting? What are you making? Is it knitting? My gals are super sweet, though. They're always like, baby blanket. Hats for the homeless. I'm always like thong. <laughs> you knit it with the glow in the dark yarn, you can chase that banana a while around for a while before you have to peel it. <laughs> but you want to tick somebody off? <laughs> knit on an airplane. Yeah. I was flying west to Indy the other day, sharing a row with a guy. He's all huffy. I look over and he goes, I can't believe they let you bring those weapons on the plane. 
like any knitters ever gone, knit one, curl one. Take out the cockpit. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, what, what's, what's wrong with the knitting? He goes, well, they wouldn't let me bring my high weapons on the plane. <laughs> this is going to be good, Chief. What weapons did you want to bring on the plane? He <laughs> says, toenail clipper. I said, well, that was just a safety check for you. Because if you start doing that plain pedicure, I was going to stabby stabby you to death. <laughs> so now we're having an uncomfortable moment. <laughs> and I said, I got an idea. You get the tequila. I've got more stabby stabby things. By the time we land, thong. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good night.